What's up? Today I'm going to show you exactly how to start your tremendous digital art journey if you're a complete beginner. Please stick around till the end for all the knowledge nuggets I have amassed. Let's go! Number 1. Tablets. Don't get an expensive tablet at first unless you're rich. Then you can get whatever humongo bungo display tablet you want. Many of the differences between models are negligible. The only components to care about with cheaper tablets are price, wires, and size. Repeat after me. Price, wire, size. Price, wire, size. Price, wire, size. Um, I recommend Huion, XP Pen, and Wacom in that descending order. Results may vary, so it practically does not matter. Here's my safe recommendation list given price, reviews, and experience. XP Pen Deco 01 version 2. Wacom and 2 is small. Huion HS611. I'll show you how to set it up in a bit. Number two, drawing software. If you want something free and powerful, get Krita. This is an excellent choice and I recommend it to absolutely all. It might be hard to start with given the relative complexity of the interface, but it's undeniably the best free drawing software and better in the long term. Super customizable too, haha. <laughs> Not sponsored. Check out my video on it though, ha. <laughs> if your computer is a technological potato, get Fire Alpaca. It also has a simple GUI that's easy for beginners to get started and it's gratis slash free. If you have a little bit of cash and want great drawing software, get Clip Studio Paint. There's a $49.99 and $219 version and it looks pretty. There's also a subscription for it for 99 cents a month, but uh, subscription subscriptions. If you want the most feature packed software, get Photoshop. But it's really expensive, subscription based, and most of this extra stuff is really stuff that you will never really ever touch. Bro. Number three, tablet setup. How to set up tablet. Close all drawing software, plug in tablet. Go to tablet's company website, look up tablet. Find and download the latest driver. Install and restart your computer. Number four, software setup. How to set up Canvas on software. Open, new file. 300 DPI is a must. I recommend 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. You can change if it's portrait or landscape. Let's get drawing. Number five, how to actually draw. This is just one method of drawing that will introduce you to many helpful tools for your art journey. Everyone's process is different and it's honest experiment. But here's a quick outline, just cause I like you. <laughs> Number one, sketch. Add the paint layer. Select it, double click it to rename it. You wanna use a thick brush so you won't be wasting your precious lines. To transform something, either select it with the lasso tool or the square selection. Then press Control T. You can rotate, flip, scale, or move it. Click enter. Press Control Shift A to deselect anything that you've selected and you don't want to move. When you're done, lower the opacity of your sketch layer via the Layers tab. Make sure you use Control S to save your art or else you'll regret it. And also make sure to organize all your files in a nice folder. Number two, line art. Add paint layer. Select brush. This one will vary based on your individual style, but I recommend starting with a simple brush like the round brush or the round opacity brush. And you just gotta experiment. You can add brush stabilization if you want. Get to drawing. Also press E to toggle eraser mode. Color. Add paint layer. Move it below the line art layer. Rename it. Select color with color wheel. You can use fill tool or any brush. Shading. Select your color layer. Control Shift G. This creates a mask layer for your color layer. This means you could shade safely without going out of what you colored or the shape that you've made with your colors. There are layer modes that change how color affects each other, and I recommend shading with multiply mode. So some people just shade on their color layer and that's fine by pressing control while you select the square icon in your layer. Number five, lighting. The same process as shading, but this time go for lighter colors. Uh, make sure the layer is above your shading. Number six, background. It's up to you whether you make it simple or complex, and that's really all I gotta say. Just repeat the steps with layers and make sure 
you're not drawing on the wrong layer. Number seven, extras. You can add more layers with different modes to spice things up. Uh, I recommend color dodge to add glow and little s particles and stuff like that. It's nice. This is your time to experiment with the brushes. Number eight, export. Make sure you save. To export, press Control Shift S to save as. For professional work, you want to save it as a PNG. This is pretty much no quality loss. To post on the internet, save it as a JPEG with 90% quality. You made your first perfect masterpiece. Everybody is proud of you and you're going to become Picasso. It's probably not going to look too great, but that's usually how it goes for everybody on their first try. So, uh, but yeah, at least you tried. If there's anything I missed or you want answered in the comments below, then go ahead and post it. But yeah, late. Ah!